Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of kutzpah. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me sir. This is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator, and toon talker, and I'm here with Jim Bridges, and I'm the uh, founder of the Australian Cartoon Museum. So, what and are we doing? We're doing a book by Founders Find Things, and this is one of the things I found. Right. Um, this is a French. Finders Keepers. Uh, no, no, we're sharing it with the world today. Um, this, this is. is is his name Philippe Droulet? Yeah, Droulet. Yeah, Droulet, the French. Six Voyages of Lone Sloan. I would say uh, when, it comes to, when, it, when it comes to visual fantasy, yep. in comics, mm. no one went as far as this guy. Yeah. No one. So you'll have a look at what, what we're talking yeah. about here. We first, uh, I first saw his work in Metal and, Her Land. And this book comes then, with, the, with, with the three dandruff tester. You just lean over and you scratch your head. Right. And, you know, come through the... But um, as you can see, it's cosmic based. It's obviously an early um, spaceship. Yeah. So he's very influential. He, he's um, great use of rapidographs. This guy, and you know all of those little curves and things you get into sets. Do you want to explain to the universe what a rapidograph is? So it's an ink pen that is a mechanical pen. Ah. Why so is it a mechanical pen? Well, it's a cartridge pen, and it's for use for drawing very fine details of, ah. of mechanical things. And what sort of nib does it have? Uh, just a little point. Just, just a, a point. Tiny, isn't, isn't it hollow? Isn't hollow it hollow? Point. Yes. Yeah. So you have to draw with it vertical. Vertical. Okay. Yeah. Now, so there's a lot of that. I mean, this obviously is just pen. Yeah. But there, there would be a lot of technical drawing in this. I love this. This is uh, that, um, that well, whole well, this thing. Is... I did an oil painting uh, based on this uh, that sort of composition. This is um, really about 48 years chunky. old. This, this comic. It's about mm. 48 years old. And I think it came out of... Uh, he, he got the inspired... He got, well, they had these Carl pictures Sagan. of the cosmos yeah. in between um, the stories. Yeah. And here's Why? the first story. Because, meanwhile, <laughs> on the other side, yeah. Of the universe. Yeah, so it was kind so, of like, this is a cosmic story, so they kept reminding you yeah. that it's a cosmic story. My theory is that he was inspired by Kirby, but he mm. had the tradition of the French mm. comics, which is based which is influenced by art, fine art. Mm. And so you do all this sort of stuff. This stuff would mm. never get published in America. Mm. It's just too... Well, that, and also he did his own colours. So yeah. this is an interior of the comic. Yeah. So the comics in Europe were typically printed in full colour. Yes. yes. So this is this is an example of that. So but, it's like a magazine style and magazine be, size. Besides, besides the actual um, way the, the, um, the panels are, mm. and besides the colour... Mm. I, these are sort of like psychedelic colours mm. and the scale and what he actually draws these are all totally original things like mm. you'd, you'd never get this in an American comic no. so uh, he's, he's this character. stuff comes from manga by the way these sort of radiating yeah. lines but this is also of energy and action. this is also the Tower of Babel yeah so everything is on a huge cosmic level mm. And, um, so this he, way was in, influenced by uh, Marvel Comics, by um, yeah, but but he had the Ditko I mean, and, uh, yeah. and uh, Kirby. And see, this is a he's, he's travelling through space and time. Yeah, on this little this this thing here. Yeah, which Kirby did in um, in New Gods. Mm. Oh, hang on, sorry, the pages. So you have this sort of panelling, which is yeah, a combination of, of Indian art and um, psychedelic art, all sorts of stuff all mixed in. Yeah, so it's a lot of graphic design and yeah. a lot of uh, decorative elements and things that are that are drawn into these into the narrative to get you an impression of a of a incredible uh, architecture and uh, technology mm. and civilization mm. and how he is dwarfed, mm. you know, by these god kings. And you see, this is obviously pinched from um, Doctor Strange's love, but these these characters sitting around the right, they're actually 
they're in space. They're not sitting mm. on the ground. There's, yeah, they're not. And there's this huge, forward. great spaceship, mm. which is, which has, uh, what is that? The lens that's showing it where yeah. it's coming to, yeah. or is that actually through it? Mm. You know, are they? The, the, so some of these ships are bigger than planets. Yeah. So you can see it's a, it's it, already it's totally different to a normal yeah. impression of a comic. Yeah. It it is part of psychedelic trip almost. Yeah. And remember in a way this, that uh, yeah. it can be very. You know, if well, you had coloration look, if you had a joint and you read this comic, I think you'd you'd kind of enjoy it. You'd get a lot <laughs> out of it. But uh, it, w- it was a struggle for me, so I never read it. But yeah. I did I did like it. I loved the the the, the, the scale. These are all, everything and the yeah, colours, obviously. Yeah, this is um, th- this originally came out in seventy two. So you know, um, and look, yeah, he, he invents I don't, his was own this, language. This was first represented. He invents his own language. Look, that's. Yeah. So it was first and reproduced these, these in little, Metal Her Land. Yeah, these little black yeah. figures. They're people. Little silhouettes. Uh, yeah. yeah. So that's the scale. Yeah, that's, heaven and hell. You yeah. know, these are like the new gods. Yeah. And so the story finishes. Yeah. You have these sort of diagrams. And yeah. a new story starts. Yeah. So you have this ship. And it's not like any other ship because it's so huge. Yeah. The rocks are actually, look, the rocks are people. Yeah. And these are... Our nouveau yeah. type, type yeah. face. These uh, this this sort of stuff, this scale, yeah. no one had ever seen before. Yes. And here's no, mate. No one would attempt it. This is a brilliant. I love this uh, composition. Yeah. I did and a that's a sword. Of that with a, that's I not a phallic a, symbol. That's yeah, a sword. Yeah, I did a dwarf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A big battle axe. With yeah. This sort of. And all all the all the panels, you know, the shape telling the story. He's like some sort of cosmic pirate, isn't he? Mm. And um, yeah, look at all the swirling and all the stuff. And see, so the stories are bigger than life. They're yeah. bigger than, than these are about battles, you know, they're they're about about cosmic battles. Yeah. Here they are coming off this incredible ship, mm. and then they go underground. And the underground looks like the inside of a whale, mm. you know. And then they have these huge battles. So look, look, look at look, look at all this stuff. Look mm. at it. So it's the scale of heaven and hell, and and the, and the you know the big bang and the, the birth of universes and. Yeah. Stars and things like that. So it's it's a huge dramatic. Um, there's all this swirl. I mean, there's Dore here. There's all sorts mm. of stuff yeah. here. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff here. It's, a, it's the same thing as Dore as as yeah. the. Um, he's you know, following the journey on that, to hell. Yeah, he's following on that tradition. And yeah. The, then you have your, your ad exactly your space, and then you go to the new story. Yeah. And this is called Rose. So like Paradise Lost and all of that. Yeah. It's that sort of, you know, the, the, the bigger than life scale. And uh, only he could do this. No one else could do, really do this. Mobius was good at architecture, but he was never this scale. He this, could never do this. Yeah, and I don't think this guy... And see, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing alien all sorts of stuff here. Mm. I really am, you know. Um, uh, hopefully someone will make a documentary one day on Star Wars where they get everything they mm. pitch. Mm. Now, we can't really do this properly, so this is this big... Uh, it's a double-page... Splash yes. in the comic and yes. in the book that you have to turn the book around. Yeah, this is walking like to it's, get it's this crushing everybody. Poster, poster it's image, smashing everything with its. Yeah, it's so it just broke a, with convention yeah. with normal books, normal comics. It's a huge, huge um, robot mm. ship. Mm. So they, they, they a needed a double times. page, and they needed you to do. They needed the vertical. Yeah. Do you imagine trying to get the um, this printed in America and <laughs> and it's out of uh, out of. Um, Printing thing, you know, mm. with all these lines. Yeah, no, it had to be um, full color magazine yeah. style. And this is your, you know, like um, I don't know if this ever stuff ever got to America. It did in heavy metal. Ah, yeah, that's right. But seventy eight. But it never went. They didn't publish them. Now, see, this is extraordinary because this is like the cosmic Great Wall of China, mm. and it goes. See the this figure here. It's got its feet in the planet, and these keep on going mm. all over the over the universe. Yeah, but it's the bridge over the stars, so it's yeah. reflecting also Asgard and the bridge, you know. To that's right. And so here it is. It goes everywhere. Sch- Schmeinheld or whatever it is. <laughs> Niffle, Niffledom. 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 And you look at all this. I mean, there's, there's stair, there's Escher staircases mm. going this way and that way. Mm. You, you could spend and lots of little bricks. You could spend twenty minutes and on the that. The bricks are in perspective. Yeah, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Can you imagine drawing? There would be uh, weeks of work yes. here. Yeah, you know. So yeah. forgive him for having one basic color. I, I have one criticism. 
He's Kirby Crackle as crap. Yeah, well, that's sort of like an afterthought. It's, it's yeah, tidy it's, in areas, yeah. but then it gets sort of a little bit too yeah. much. They would have probably left it. So, so the staircases go down and they go up and they go underneath as well. Yeah, it's like Escher. He's yeah, trying like Escher. It's an yeah. homage to the famous Escher um, so, staircase. And, of course, your eye just doesn't know where to start. It's just mm. all over the place. Mm. There's and, some Kirby Crackle for you. And then you have this... Doom, doom. It's really sh- sharp. This is a classic of his. He does these T-zones. The T zone, well, the eyes, the faces, the, the, yeah. the faces cropped yeah. in a in a vertical uh, yeah, yeah. comp. And then you have a page like this, which is like you know. Mm. I'm so a, it's action, yeah. agony, this, and this, this is the blend of Kirby and Ditko in a way. This is a stre- you get a lot of the this psychological. This is a Strenko dream, yeah. isn't it? A Strenko dream. Yeah. And, Caught and in the pattern. Look at all this off her pattern. This is just a paisley, rough paisley pattern that actually goes wild and. Mm. It's just amazing. Although, you know, with all that incredible um, drawing, he, his figures were pretty basic. The, his faces were pretty they, basic. You know? They were, but they're, they're always contorted in some form yes. of um, dramatic uh, pose yeah. expression. And there's, there's, there's the end of the... The little bricks there. Yeah. Curved little bricks in perspective. Yeah. And of course... He didn't make his life easy, did he? <laughs> the story ends with everything smashing into pieces. Yeah, the Tower of Babel, the fall of the... Yeah. Of man's arrogance, you know. Yeah. And then I you, love these things. These things always um, yeah. oh, uh, like interested me. You like, like gold. Oh, they're almost like these? Japanese letters. That sort yes. of like they, they smoke that forms um, yeah. some other narrative. Yeah. Or, or yeah, that's very yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Um, and these are boring. These are boring compared to these. Well, things. yeah, but you know, you don't you don't usually see it in a comic. It's a rest no. page. Yeah, it's a rest page. That's right. So after that's that drama of the first story, yeah. now we get another story. You have yeah. a rest first. You have a rest, and then all this like that. Sid Arthur. Sid Arthur yeah. is a big deal. It's now a... they they this comic, you can see this is here, but this actually had a fifth color when it was printed in in. Um, in Metal Herland okay. and Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal was the Metal Herland. So what the, was the extra colour? Silver. Ah. They printed a metallic ink. Yeah, okay. So this is like the beginning of Star Wars. Mm. You know how the big ship mm. is seen? And then, um, uh, I think this is the last story. Mm. Yeah. So these, but this these sort of, are the mutants. Yeah, but this colour palette really yeah. suited his... Um, his uh, um, designs. A lot of these pages were the actual face yeah. of a person telling a story yeah. with all the sort of action. And they're like the memories. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So the uh, the story elements that he's telling the story. Yeah. He's 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 in the picture. He's in the page telling the story, and this is the story. That but I'm then involved. you see you had this coming out like a ray yeah. out of this this machine thing. Mm. You know. And of course, then this is when you go to scale. So mm. the ship is actually. Being watched and attacked by, by these all creatures. these things in space, and then the next panel, the next panel shows you all these thousands of things all going all over the ship. Mm. And I'm just saying that I mean the, the amount of um, well, it, you know, you use the, you can you, uh, the amount you of, would not over if you use the word epic ten times, you would not overuse <laughs> it. This this is like you yeah, know, yeah. And forget about Ben Hur. Ben, <laughs> ben Hur is like not yeah. even. Not even up to his toenail. That's right. That's right. This is huge. And then this the, is... You then, know how people complain, big, we'll never make Doom. Doom is so big, we'll never make Doom. Yeah, well... And they made nine Star Wars or something, yeah, which yeah. is a you know a copy of Doom. Yeah. But... Um, well, it's a rip-off of New Gods, too. Yeah, they'll never in a million years and be able to this, make this. You have this cosmic biblical thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Like... Um, it's like Hebrew or something, you know. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's that's another ad. <laughs> well, it's a rest. It's a rest. Yeah. But and he sneezed on this yeah. one. Yeah. It's a bit of. This is bad Kirby crackle. Yeah. Proof. This is the paintbrush. Yeah. It's very bad. Proof. And of course, you get the motion on. Now, it. this is the big one. This is the last story. This is terror. 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 Yeah. And um, you don't know how to look at this. Which way you're looking at it? Up, down, sideways. Mm. And then you turn the page. Well, back in the seventies, when this was created, this, yeah. there was a lot of interest in uh, in um, what is it, Kabbalah and Tantra and all yeah. that sort and of stuff. See, this is this so is from that, um, Alexander Nevsky by Eisenstein. Yeah, 
So and they had that sort of multiple yeah. levels of, of uh, concentration. Yeah. So you get different levels of, of realities. And, and you see, look, see, this becomes a huge, long, yeah. long trail. Yeah. It's very Dante, this. Oh, very yeah. Dante. Yeah, very Dante. And that, that, that's um, Frechetta. Yeah. That's Frechetta like, you know? Like. You are the wool. Yeah, you order, and, and so there's this, you. there's this eye, and it goes down to the nose, and it's telling a story again. Mm. And of course, that's it, folks, because the rest is just ads. Yeah, lone the slow. Just ads, yeah. The rest is just ads. So there's just six voyages of loan. There's just six voyages of loan. Well, no, and they're, they're reprinting all these books. They're reprinting all of them, mm. and I've got two of them. This would be re- this is sort of book that would be better printed this size. That's right. You know, because you could then appreciate the yeah. line work beautifully. And look this guy up, mm. Philippe Drule. He is, I, 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 he. Well, he's now an Grand unknown Prix. man. He's now an unknown man, and mm. he, he. But well, we, I appreciate him. Oh well. Wow. Look what Hergé said. It's sensational. Yeah. And and a guy called Tracker Stella, he <laughs> said a beautiful dreamlike journey would recommend this to all lovers of fantasy in science fiction. There you go. There you go. Okay. What all a right. what a what a man that guy is. And this is put out by Titan uh, uh, Titan Comics. Titan Comics. They're reprints, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Cheap at twenty bucks. Well, yes, they are cheap. Yeah, well, I think they're cheap. But this is, you know, what's good about this is yeah. because um, when I first saw this in Metal Holland and um, Heavy Metal, even with the silver cover, it was beautiful. But it's sort of lost in in a magazine. Yes, uh, it's which lost. Essentially, you need scale. Uh, you you know, need scale. A, yeah, I mean, these it, are... it, it, it's it's lost in a mag. A magazine would be smaller than than this yeah. book, obviously. But it's lost in a group. Of stories. Yes, I think uh, I think if you this really should if be on you its blew own. that if you blew that page up yeah to ten foot long yeah. and put it in an art gallery, oh, it people would, would walk well. around and read that comic. And and they would and read that comic. They would have joints before they walked into the place as well. <laughs> so there'd be a funny smell outside what, the gallery. Before you walk into joint, yeah. I thought you're a big spender. Mm. Okay, folks, this is uh, France Cantor and Jim Bridges saying see you next week. Okay, bye bye. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin.